President Obama features prominently in this week's roundup of African news. Here's VOA's Paul Sisko. First, Obama to Ghana. Ghanaians are reacting with pride and excitement to the announcement that U.S. President Barack Obama will visit the African nation in July. It's a good thing for Ghana, for the publicity of Ghana, Obama being the president of the United States and his first visits to an African country and choosing Ghana, it's, I think it's a good thing. We're just looking forward to it and we hope that it will bring good tidings to us. It shows how important Ghana is in Africa because for it to be the first point of call, it's a blessing to us. In Mombasa, Kenya, 12 alleged pirates faced arraignment in court. The Somali nationals were arrested after an alleged hijacking attempt off the Somali coast. They're being tried in Kenya because of the lack of a functioning justice system in Somalia. With celebration and fanfare, the presidents of Sierra Leone and Liberia opened a transboundary peace park, joining and protecting some 175,000 hectares of forest reserve. Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. After experiencing a decade or so of the absence of peace, we, the people of Liberia and Sierra Leone, must now do everything possible to maintain and strengthen our newly won peace and stability. This Across the River Kola Forest Project must be a symbol of that renewed commitment. The Peace Park is designed to protect some of the last remaining blocks of intact forest in West Africa. Visitors to the Cannes Film Festival in France got to see the award-winning feature documentary My Neighbor, My Killer, about life in Rwanda after the 1994 genocide. Back in Hollywood, celebrities turned out recently to help launch Nelson Mandela Day. On July 18th, a series of events around the world will celebrate and honor the former South African president and Nobel Peace Prize winner. Welcome back. Finally. Tonight. We have two of the most colorful people in Kenyan politics. A satirical puppet show debuted on Kenyan television. Producers say it's not comedy, but political satire, intended to raise awareness about international and Kenyan political and social issues. Paul Sisko, VOA News.